Hello everyone, welcome to the video on world's first malaria vaccine approved by World Health Organization. And this announcement is made on October 6, 2021 and the vaccine is known as Masquerix. In this video, let us know all the details about Masquerix. This is how the vaccine vial looks like. This is my YouTube video channel. If you like the video content, do share and subscribe the channel. Let's get into the topic. Now see, it's an historic event. This is the first time a malaria vaccine is approved to use by World Health Organization, but this has to be used only for children. Now, World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adnam endorsed the use of RTSSAS01 malaria or Masquerix. See, Masquerix is the trade name, and this vaccine is developed by GlaxoSmithKline, a British drug maker. Now, this RTS yes, AS1 indicates what all the components are present in that vaccine. We'll see the details later. Now, see, the decision followed a review of pilot program deployed since 2019 in Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi. All these three are African countries. In Africa, the young children were given almost 2.3 million doses of this vaccine, and the tests were conducted from 2019. After two years of uh, research and trials, they have stated that the vaccine has got beneficial effects against malaria. Then it has got the approval. See the doses, 2.3 means 23 lakh doses were administered and then only they, come, they came to the conclusion that the vaccine is effective. Getting into the more details, now what is this RTS AS1 malaria vaccine is? Now see, this vaccine acts against Plasmodium falciparum, a, a parasite which causes malaria is Plasmodium species. In that, the falciparum is the deadliest malarial parasite and it is most prevalent in Africa. So the vaccine significantly reduces malaria and life-threatening severe malaria in children. And that is why it has got the approval. As I told you, it is uh, the announcement was made on October 6, 2021. Now, see, the, the findings of the pilot project wherein 2.3 million doses were administered are, see, the vaccine was safe and still led to 30% reduction in severe malaria. See, 30% reduction is a very good reduction because the malarial deaths are very rampant in Africa. Now, it reached more than two-thirds of children who don't have a bed net to sleep under. Now understand this, see to ward off this malaria, bed nets are provided by World Health Organization. So under the nets, mosquitoes will not come. But it could not reach to everyone in Africa. There are people who don't have this bed net and to them this vaccine is given. So there is there was no negative impact, no negative impact on other root, other routine vaccine or other measures to prevent malaria. Understand this, if this vaccine, Masquerous, is given, you can take the conventional medication as such along with this vaccine or you can take another vaccine along with this vaccine. That is what it says. And the vaccine was cost effective. The cost is not yet out, but the company, Glasgow Smith Klein, says it is very economic. So these are all the findings of that vaccine. Now let us understand the life cycle of this malaria. See, malaria is infected through this mosquito. When the mosquito bites, it releases sporozoids of plasmodium. The sporozoids directly reaches to liver, wherein they develop. Once they develop in, from in liver, they release it from the liver and get into blood, blood circulation. In the blood circulation, RBC is affected, red blood cells are affected, and these malarial parasites will break down hemoglobin of RBC. That is how they survive. Now remember, this stage is known as erythrocytic stage erythrocytic stage. Erythrocytic means red blood cell stage. Now once the parasites gets into the blood cell stage, they start breaking down the hemoglobin, then only people start showing symptoms. Symptoms like fever, chills and sweat. So they only occur when the uh, parasite gets into erythrocytic stage. Till then no symptoms will be there. Now after this, the developed, see you can see in every stage they are multiplying. The multiplied parasite will again reattack RBC or from the blood circulation may, may be taken by mosquito and again it infects another human being. The sexual cycle occurs in mosquito and again it infects in another human being. This is what is a typical cycle of malaria. Now this vaccine RTSS will act on this sporozoids. So at the first stage of the malaria this vaccine will act so the spread Multiplication, everything will be inhibited. So this is a very good, uh, a very good action. So at the initial stage only, the vaccine is acting. 
Now see, this the vaccine has got two prominent parts. One, the antigen part, the other one is adjuvant system. See, antigen is the one which will evokes immune response. Antibodies will develop with this antigen. So this antigen is what is called as RTS and S yes and S, yes, whereas this adjuvant system enhances immune response to vaccine antigen. So the job of this adjuvant is it will enhance the immune response. And that is what is called as adjuvant system. You can see this is how the vaccine is given. One has got this adjuvant, another one is RTS S. See, it is it, it comes in these two vials, it is in combined pack. One is the antigen part, another one is adjuvant system. Let's get into the details. Now, what do you mean by this RTS, S and S? Now, little bit technical one, but understand very simple thing. See, this is how a typical sporozoite looks like. The surface of this sporozoite is made up of a protein. That is called as circumsporozoid protein. Circum means surface, a simple one. Now, protein, because it is protein, it is made up of amino acids. In that amino acids, there are certain repeated amino acids are there. And that segment is known as repeated segment. So, the R here stands for repeated segment of that protein. Now the next one, there is a T cell epitope is there. Imagine this one is an amino acid portion. Now this part, uh, this, there are couple of parts are there. There are repeated amino acids are there and another one is a T cell epitope. What do you mean by T cell epitope? T cells are activated because of this fragment of the sporozoite. Once this, once this gets into human body, the T cells will bind with this and they will get activated, multiplied and they show their immune activity. This fragment is called as T cell epitope. That is what do you mean by epitope is. So it has got two parts. One is R, repeated amino acid part, and other one is T cell epitope part. So R and T are derived from these two things. Now what do you mean by S? S is nothing but a surface antigen, antigen derived from hepatitis B. See, hepatitis B is a virus. That virus surface antigen is known as S. Surface, yes. So this is called as the other S is because of yes. Uh, other S is because of this surface protein. Now let us understand why you have this hepatitis B virus thing is. The advantage with this surface protein is it will pack all the components of the vaccine together as a virus. First one. Second one, see the malaria parasite initially it is attacking liver. So always there is a chance of getting liver infection like hepatitis B. So when you combine this hepatitis B also in this vaccine, so the vaccine will have two actions. One, it acts against malaria, it, act, it also acts against hepatitis B. That is the logic combining this one. So all these three are fused, that is what is known as RTS and again it is combined with unfused, again the surface protein is combined so that it is converted as this particle. So this is what is meant by RTS and yes. RTS are fused and again yes is mixed. All of them are made through yeast. E even more detailed one, see this is what is circumsporozoid protein of sporozoid. Now see this, this is the repeated part and this is taken here. This is what is R part is. And this part is T cell epitope. Here it is taken and it is combined with hepatitis B antigen. Again hepatitis B antigen is mixed so that you will get this kind of virus kind of molecule wherein you have RTS protein as well as S protein is there. Right? So this is about RTS and yes. Now how does this, this works? See it induces the production of antibodies and T cells. Understand this one. Antibodies, humoral immunity, T cell, cell mediated immunity. So both humoral immunity as well as cell mediated immunity are activated by this vaccine and believed to diminish the malaria parasite ability to infect, develop and survive in human liver. See it attacks in the first stage. So the, the, uh, the immune mediators will attack the sporozoid surface and, and, and reduces the infection rate. Now, how is Masquerex used? See, it is given in 0.5 ml injection into muzzle or thigh or the muzzle around the shoulder. The child, the child is given three injections with one month between each injection. A fourth injection is recommended 18 months after the third. The medicine can only be obtained with a prescription. So, totally four doses should be given. One, the first three doses are within one month gap and the fourth one, it needs 18 months gap. This is how it is given. Now, how does this work? As we have seen already, see it has got proteins mixed off this plasmodium falciferum surface protein and hepatitis B virus protein is there. So when it is given, it activates immune system. Immune system recognizes the proteins from parasite and virus as 
foreign, not of natural one, not of innate one, and make antibodies against them. So the immune system will then be able to produce antibodies more quickly when the child is naturally exposed to malaria parasites and hepatitis B virus in future. Look at them, both of them, it is effective against malaria as well as hepatitis B virus. And this is how this vaccine acts. Now, what are the risks associated with mask see, see, the most serious side effect is febrile seizures. That means fever with fits. But this occurs only in 1 in 1,000 children, which is the occurrence is low, right? Now, the most common side effects are fever, uh, irritability at injection site, and pain and swelling, which is very common. Now, mask must not be used in children who are hypersensitive to the vaccine or hepatitis B vaccine. See, I told you four doses should be given. If the first dose gives some hypersensitivity reaction, the vaccine should not be used. So these are all the details about the first malarial vaccine masquerades. If you like the video content, do share and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching this.